Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight just won an Emmy for his role in This Is Us, and he now stars in the film Marshall. Please welcome Sterling K. Brown. You're killing tonight. Thanks very much. Well, you're killing it all over the place. I appreciate it. Before we get into anything else, I, I, I just want to say how much uh, I admired your uh, portrayal of Christopher Darden in Thank you. the OJ story. It was, uh, it was incredible. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It was a great time. I'd actually, I'd actually seen you on This Is Us for I went, oh, wait, that's the same guy. Yeah, man. Yeah, the hair helps. The hair helps. It helps a little the bit. The lack of and the yeah. big... Ugly beard, yeah. Yeah, but what an, what an amazing uh, sort of bursting onto the scene you've had in your, in your 40s. Are you happy to have gotten famous a little bit later in your career? I think so. I think when, if you get it young, you don't necessarily have the appreciation for the moment that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, This Is Us returns tomorrow. That is correct. Okay. Um, Marshall... Yes. Marshall is opening on October 13th. October 13th. Um, and you just won the Emmy this past Sunday, beating Kevin Spacey and Anthony Hopkins. Are you still, are you still floating a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Like, when you look at the company, we had seven people in our category, which was the most out of any of the acting categories. To beat a knight, that's pretty cool. You know, mm -hmm. Sir Anthony. Uh, Hannibal Lecter and Kaiser Soze were in the house. Like, <laughs> it, it's absolutely insane. Like, I never envisioned that this moment was going to transpire in my life. And now that it's happening, it just feels so sweet, man. It really does. It really does. Well, because one of, the, one of the things that people are talking about here is that you gave a, a, a beautiful acceptance speech but did not have an opportunity to finish all of it. Right. Because you got played off. I did. And, 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 then, and then they cut your light, and then they cut your mic. They did. And uh, you got a chance to finish it I backstage. I got to finish backstage. And, and then, you know, uh, then printed the entire thing. Sure. And you printed the entire thing. I wanted you to know that I'm backstage watching. And I'm like, well, they're not going to play him off. Right. And they're going to let him finish this speech. And then I went, they're going to play him <laughs> off. And then I went, well, wait, wait. I'm the host. I can stop this. And so I came out in the right, from the wings on the serious? right side. If you look at the wide shot, there's a little white guy coming on stage. <laughs> and uh, right when they cut off your mic and you walked away. So I'm sorry for not getting out there faster it's because the host's right. job is to make sure everybody has Listen, a good time. Listen, man, er not everybody can be pretty Australian white women who have won Oscars in the past. So I knew that my... T <laughs> 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 not that I'm blaming her. No. Not that I'm it's blaming not her. her. Fault. It's not her fault. And you know, you got to go to commercial break. It turned out to be more of a thing. I got a chance to make the speech even longer because I got to finish it backstage. It was perfect. It was perfect. Well, congratulations, Anna. Congratulations. Thank you. Well Thank deserved. You. How about that? Well Thank deserved. Thank you very much. Now, you got, uh, you got an adorable family right here. Tell me yeah. who's in this picture right here. That is my beautiful wife, Ryan Michelle Bathay, and my two sons, Andrew and Amari. And. Yeah. You and your wife have been... I understand you've been sweethearts since college? We have. Off and on. We met freshman year of college. We dated in college. We broke up. We dated in grad school. We broke up. And then we, we've been together since 2004. Oh, wow. That's yeah. beautiful. That's great. Yeah. Now, your kids... Yeah. Or your wife, you know, do they, do they... Are they impressed with the fame? Or are they like, why aren't you home? It's more the latter mm -hmm. than the former. I mean, the wife understands what's going on. And my six-year-old just wants me to be there with him. Now, anytime he wants to take the out of me, like, he'll start doing stuff. He likes to do this thing called the booty dance, where he just basically, he gets up, and he just shakes his booty. Like, he'll do stuff like this. He'll start moving it around, et cetera, et cetera. But every once in a while, the booty dance gets old. I need fresh material on a nightly basis. I say, Andrew, this is a little played out. So I say, uh, my name's Sterling Brown, and I won an Emmy. And I won another Emmy this year, and I'm cool. So he just, like... <laughs> 
That's what he does. So, he gives yeah. not a he flying his big new father. Wow. And, and to his face. Yeah, good for him. And it's funny. It's yeah. funny. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they play that cute thing, man. No. They it's, play that cute card. As long as it works, I don't I'm not I don't get mad. Now, uh, the new season This Is Us, as I said, starts tomorrow. Yes. Should I go to Costco and buy the Kleenex in bulk? Whatever. Probably. What should I prep myself for here? Listen, you'll get a big clue as to how Jack died. So we find that out towards the end of the episode. So people who've been asking, you'll see something, and then it'll get filled in throughout the course of the season. Falls into an automatic sausage machine. Boom. Yep. <laughs> it's like Fargo with the wood chipper. It's, exactly it's the same really thing. Yeah, gnarly. Yeah, I saw that. I yeah, saw yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Marshall is uh, the story of Thurgood Marshall. Yes. Um, taking an early case, even before Brown v. Board of Education. Right. Why is this uh, an important case in this great man's life? Why, do we, why man. do we need to know about this one? Well, first of all, it was a case that I didn't know about. He goes to Bridge, uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut, to defend a man by the name of Joseph Spell. Who you who play. I, who I play, who is accused of the rape and attempted homicide of a white socialite by the name of Eleanor Strubing. And it just sort of points out to you, and you don't know if he's innocent or guilty, but the history of race in this country is an ongoing conversation that we can never forget about. I think we had eight years of thinking that we were post-racial, and then we were under a new administration, and then go, hmm, maybe not so much. <laughs> maybe it still exists, and maybe it's something that we have to keep talking about, because if you don't know your past, you're doomed to repeat it. And so I just hope that this movie is able to wake people up to the folks that are like, what is going on right now? Let's not go back. Like, let's not go back to 1941. It's 2017. We should be back. Can you tell me what's, um... In this clip right here... I think you're in jail. Can you tell me what's happening in this clip? I'm in jail, and, uh, Joseph Spell's in jail. He doesn't have... Not Sterling. Joseph Spell's in jail. And uh, Thurgood Marshall comes to visit him looking to see if he wants counsel because the NAACP is looking to defend people who they think are falsely accused and this is the conversation that they have. Jim. You a lawyer? I am. This is Sam Friedman. He's a lawyer too. Hey, you can go. Got no money for lawyers. Anybody ask you for money? Did you rape that woman, Joseph? No. Why does she say you did? I don't know why she's saying that. She says you raped her and tried to kill her. She's lying. I'm telling you this up front. The NAACP were not like most lawyers. We only represent innocent people, people accused because of their race. That's our mission. You understand? So I need to know this. Look at me now. Did you do what they said you did? I never touched that woman. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on everything. I appreciate it. Man. Marshall opens October 13th. Sterling K. Brown, everybody. We'll be right back.